I'm Tammy Beilstein. Welcome to Tammy's Window on Calaveras. I have with me tonight the 2015 Saddle Queen and the 2016 Saddle Queen competitors. Did I say that correctly? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> These girls are so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And I feel so old. I could be everybody's grandmother probably here. <laughs> so. <laughs> so next to me is Mackenzie. Mackenzie is the 2015 Saddle Queen. Krista right? Samantha, Melanie, Callie, and Gracie. I'm going to go down the line and ask each of the girls to tell me a little something about themselves, what they enjoy most about, uh, about the Saddle Queen competition. I do want to know the names of your horses. That's interesting mm -hmm. to me how you even come up with those names. Uh, my kids name all their animals human names. Our dogs are Vincent and Yolanda. <laughs> I'm interested in to hear all of these these basic details about the about the girls and their uh, their competition. So, okay, let's start here with Mackenzie. Yeah. Tell me what it was like for you last year running for Miss Saddle Queen. Tell me a little bit about yourself. What school you go to? I want to hear all the details. Well, my name's Mackenzie Middleton, and I'm a senior at Bret Hart High School. Last year, I was competing as a junior with my horse Sugar. And it was my second year competing, and my first year competing, Sugar and I did not know nearly as much as we do now. Sure. So it was a lot more relaxing to compete and to really work on the fine deal details mm -hmm. versus competing and being like, we don't even know how to lope a circle. Like, how are we going to do this pattern? It was, wow. Yeah, it was... Um, a big difference, and oh I really appreciated it, and I appreciated how far my horse and I came yeah. as a team. So, Oh, I'm sure. Now, after you win Saddle Queen, what kind of responsibilities do you have? What does it mean yeah. to be Saddle Queen? Well, it's a great honor. It means that I get to represent the Calaveras County Fair and Jumping Frog Jubilee mm -hmm. anywhere I want, basically. And I have gone to various parades and okay. county events and other queen competitions, promoting our fair and promoting our rodeo and promoting everything everything wonderful about Calaveras County. That is awesome. Thank you. Are, are you excited for these girls? Is there? Do you have any tips before we um, get further that they should <laughs> <laughs> oh. really a really important thing that they should know? I have a list of tips for you guys about a mile long. Ah. <laughs> but um, I've been going to your guys' practices and I'll be sneaking them in there so hopefully you guys will learn a lot like I did over awesome. the course of the competition and I'm really excited for all of you because this has been a great opportunity for me and I know it will be for you guys. That's awesome. So so you are here to support the girls also. Yes. I mean you did all the work, you you accomplished your goal yeah. and then now you're here to pass that on to the other girls and support them. That is incredible. Thank you. I wish all girls did that. <laughs> the women, that's, that's awesome. Thank you. So next to you we have Krista. So Krista, tell me about yourself. What school do you go to? All of that. Well, my name is Krista Gillio and I'm a senior at Calaveras High School. Um, my horse's name is Endless Grace, so that's okay. her registered name, but her barn name is Gracie. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been competing in barrel races, and I used to go to rodeos. When I moved up here about three years ago, I kind of settled down from barrel racing and just wanted to take it easy. I started going on trail rides, and I got introduced to the Caliber Saddle Club, and they've always wanted me to run for Saddle Queen. <laughs> and This year, I was like, it's my last year, so I'm going to try it. It's your last year because you're a senior, or and is that I'm how that works? College, yeah. okay, okay. So I believe the competition is open until age 19. Okay. 
but since I'm a senior this year, I am going to college this fall. Good so. for you. Where are you going to go? I'm going to go to Clovis Community and transfer to Fresno State, and That's I want to awesome. be a game warden. Really? Yeah. That's so cool. Yep. Awesome. You'll be great at that. Thank you. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> I could never do that job. <laughs> I'm so impressed. <laughs> okay, so Samantha, tell me about yourself, honey. I'm Samantha, and I'm 17, and I go to Bret Hart High School. I'm a junior, and um, I'm going to be competing with my horse, Cassie, and we call her Sassy Cassie. Oh, darling. She's very sassy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and I do a little bit of barrel racing, too, but... Um, not that much, but I, okay. I'm really excited to be running for Saddle Queen because it's more of a calm thing than it is like super fast running and stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. What have you enjoyed so f the most so far? Um, I really Thanks. enjoyed because like I get to bond with my horse more and get to know more about her, right. and that's what I love most about this competition right now. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. That's neat. How much time do you guys spend with your horses? I, I seriously, I have no idea how long it takes to teach them these things when uh, you're talking about the different. Um, did you say looping earlier? What was that? I said loping. Loping. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I, have, I don't even know what that means or how long it takes to teach a horse to do that. A long time. <laughs> a long time. We, we practice twice a week, but we're supposed to practice more because it takes a long time to teach a horse. My something. goodness. So it's almost every single day. Mm -hmm. Wow. For how long? For weeks For, or months? Well, well, the competition is a course of about three months preparing okay. for it. Okay. And normally the... Things that happen before the competition, usually your horse has already been trained and broke. So all the basic stuff that goes into that all happens before the competition, okay. too. So okay. it's years and years to get your horse to do oh my what you want. So nobody can go and buy some really pretty fancy horse for the competition and make it work? Because you have to have a relationship, right, yeah. with your horse. If, okay. it's a good, if it's a trained horse, they could. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Now, how about you? Um, Melanie, tell me about yourself. My name is Melanie Nelson, and I'm a senior at Bret Hart High School. Um, I'm competing on my horse, Daisy, that I've had for about a year now. I bought her June this time last year. Mm -hmm. And um, she's a really, really cool horse. I think she has a lot of potential, but she has some attitude issues. <laughs> <laughs> her nickname is Sunshine, and that's kind of an ironic nickname. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> She has she has so much potential. I working with her every day like I do mm -hmm. every weekday like I do. Um, it's really never a chore. Like I've never thought, oh, I have to ride. Yeah, it's yeah. always like, okay, time to ride. You this enjoy it. Do you find yeah. it relaxing or is it stressful to teach the, the horses these things? And there are definitely stressful moments, yes, yeah. but it's really soothing. I think it's like it's therapy basically. Um, right. And this year, um, after I graduate, I'll be going to Columbia College for two years and then tagging Davis. And um, I'll be fighting fire with the engine 20 or 43 up at McDermott. And wow. I'm really excited. That's going to be fun. Oh, my God. You girls obviously are not afraid of wild animals or the outdoors <laughs> or getting dirty <laughs> or sweating. <laughs> yeah. And you still look beautiful while you're doing it all. Wow. <laughs> That's neat. That's like a superpower, really. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to tell me about yourself, honey? Okay. My name is Callie Fisher, and I'm a senior at Calaveras High School, and I will be riding my horse, Barbie, in the competition. <laughs> I call her Barbie Girl because she is quite full of herself. Oh, gosh. And um, I mostly just do ranch work. I live on a ranch, mm -hmm. and so she's actually new. I've only had her for about a month now, and we're getting along just fine, so... Did you get her for this competition, or did um, you, it was just time to get a new horse? Yeah, it was horse? time to get a new horse for okay. me, yeah. Gosh. So I'm really excited, yeah. Are you nervous about having uh, such a new relationship with this yeah, horse and doing something so huge? I am, but we get along really well. That's so. good. Yeah. That's good. How can you tell when a horse has potential? Um, it's, it's a certain way it behaves, or it's a, a fast learner, or it's calm? What is it that you look for? Yeah, um, the way they handle you, kind of. Is, okay. I'm... If they're comfortable with you and they don't try to, you know, buck you off, of course. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, you can tell. I mean, you can really tell. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. You, you said uh, the, the buck, bucking you off. That is why, seriously, why I have not gotten to know horses <laughs> when I was a young girl. Uh, we lived in Stockton, and one of the neighbors had a ranch, brought their horse um, to Stockton, and it was in the front yard. They let us neighborhood kids get on the horse to We'd never had been on one before. And a car went down the street, and the horse started jumping up and down. 
and I flew off. I landed on top of my friend Lana. And then I broke my arm in like two places, one right by my wrist and up a little further. And I had to go straight to the hospital to get a cast. And I, by the time I came home, the horse was gone. And I hadn't seen another until I was an adult, really. Okay. Oh, I mean, not up close, you know. And so I'm so nervous around them. You guys have no idea how impressed I am that you're just, you can control this huge animal. I mean, yeah, yeah I couldn't. <laughs> no, I'd have to like a diaper or something if I was on one. It would make me so nervous now. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. So tell me about yourself, honey. Uh, my name is Gracie Graham. I'm a freshman at Bret Hart. I'm competing with my horse, Brave. Oh, a neat name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What have you loved the most so far about uh, competing? Um, I, I love how we get to know each other and to know our horses, and we meet yeah. new people. Right. Um, right. And we um, get to know new people, and we get to go mm -hmm. to um, parades and stuff. That is, yeah. That's a really good point. Um, you guys are getting experiences that most people your age do not get. and making connections with, I'm assuming, business owners and, and plenty of um, uh, mature and responsible adults in the community that want to see you succeed. That's really neat. That's neat. So, most of you are from Bret Hart and two from Calaveras? Mm -hmm. Is that how that yeah. goes? Okay. Mm -hmm. What if someone's homeschooled? Can they participate or is this a, um, a Calaveras High School sort of? Well, the way the comp the way the competition regulations are set up, first they have a time limit for when residents of Calaveras County can enter. Okay. And then after, if we don't have a set number, I think it's four or three girls mm -hmm. entered and competing, then it opens up to all counties. Really? Yes. So people from other counties can compete for Calaveras Saddle Queen? Well, neighboring counties, yes. Does that seem right? Okay, I, I don't know if I like that rule. Who do I talk to? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's, that's interesting. I had no idea that it works like that. Okay. Well, if you look at other, um, like, rodeo queen titles, like Mother Load Roundup and Miss Rodeo Oakdale, mm -hmm. most of the girls that are competing don't live in Oakdale or Sonora. Oh. They live where they're going to college or out of town. Okay. And a lot of their best representatives are out of town. Well, that's good to know. Maybe I'm just a little protective. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a mom. It's a yeah. built-in thing. So I was looking at this um, little article that was written. First of all, I don't want to forget this. You guys tell me the date and time of your competition so we can make sure that you have plenty of people attending. Well, thank Do you know when it is? How about you guys tell us, contestants? <laughs> it will be May 19th, and the crowning will be at 3 o'clock, I believe. Four o'clock, actually. Four o'clock, okay. At the uh, Calaveras Fairgrounds? Yep, front down. Okay, okay. In the and arena. In the arena. <laughs> in the arena. <laughs> of course. Not in the food court, yeah. <laughs> That's probably where I would be. Um, so tell me what the, um, what is the theme this year for the, the Calaveras County Fair? Boots, Boots chaps, chaps, and cowboy hats. hats. Yeah. That is super cute. I wonder who comes up with those names. I like that. <laughs> I like that. It fits perfectly with what you guys are doing. <laughs> Do the guys have a similar competition? Do they, is there a mister? <laughs> no. No? Okay. no. <laughs> Would you like saddle if there were? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. yeah, saddle king. Oh, I can just see you guys doing your, uh, your lap together, king and queen. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's cute. Okay, so I printed this, and there are things that I really, I do not know what this means. Okay, how do you do a horsemanship test? Who wants to answer that one? Do you guys, what does that entail? So the horseman, horsemanship test is going to be pretty much a test on our knowledge of horsemanship. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be like horse questions in there. So just pretty okay. much your knowledge on what you're representing and what you know about what we're doing every day. Okay. So like a question could be, there could be one about like what's in a six-way horse vaccination. So you're going to have to list, like, what medicines are in that vaccination. Really? Or wow. what's colic. Okay. What are the different types of colic. Okay. So there's a lot of studying that goes behind the test. That's great. Does beauty have anything to do with this competition, or is it all about your knowledge of horses and your 
No. There's not really. There's no way that where that you're scored on how pretty you are. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's all on how you compete, riding with your horse in the arena, and then there's an interview, and there's the horsemanship okay. test. Okay. You so guys just all happen to be gorgeous. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. That's really neat. How'd that happen? Yeah, because if I was a judge, I'd be like ten, ten, ten. <laughs> Okay, and then the interview would be more of horse questions, or would it maybe include questions like on on how you would represent Calaveras? I'll answer that. Okay, since I've done the yeah, you can. Okay, um, it in the interview, it's mainly when the judges are trying to get to know you. So there are horse questions, and there's questions about the fair, but there's also like questions that they just want to see your response to. I've been asked if I were a Disney villain. Uh -huh. Which villain would I be? Oh, Lord, and what'd you say? I said that I would be Corella DeVille because I'm the owner of two Dalmatians. Oh, good answer. Okay, that's a safe one. Did you know that question was coming? Nope. You just came up yeah. with that. Oh, that's pretty yeah. good. Thank Quick you. thinker. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now what the heck is equitation? Do you guys know what that is? Um, equitation isn't really based off of, well, uh, a national equitation show, it would be like... Um, you're in a ring and um, you're it's just basically like walk, jog, lope and it's um, how Is lope when they pick their feet up really high? It's yeah, when it's they're the fastest like this. Okay. When they're moving like this Okay, it's okay. When they're loping. <laughs> and it's judged on how well you ride your horse. So in this competition, um, our horses could be freaking out, bucking all over the place. Ooh. Like <laughs> <laughs> or having attitude issues like my own, right. um, and it just depends on how you handle it. If you're, if you've got your hands up here and you're, like, not riding right. smoothly at all, it's going to be an issue. But if you just take everything in stride and ride smooth and take everything proper, in stride, yeah, good one. Be good. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's awesome. So it's more about you. Do they understand that your horse might freak out because there's yes. so many people around yeah. and yeah. the noises yeah. and all that? Okay. Well, that's good to know because that would be. Um, horrible pressure, thinking that you had to be in control of your horse's attitude the entire time when there's all sorts of unusual things happening. Yeah, very good. What is ranch horse pleasure? So the ranch horse pleasure is we got a pattern this year, and we're kind of leaning more to just like what you could do out on the ranch. So it has all the gates that you would do just out riding. We have the jog, mm -hmm. which is a more collected sitting trot pretty much, but we call it a jog. Okay. And we have an extended trot, which is like you're trying to get somewhere as mm -hmm. quick as possible, but without breaking into a lope. Wow. And then we have the slow lope, and then we have the extended lope, which is a faster version. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much a pattern with all of those gates in it. And they're pretty much just seeing like how well you know your gates, how well you can okay pick points out in the arena where you're going to make your transitions. So there's like flying, or not flying lead changes, but there's lead changes. You can either do a simple lead change or a flying lead change. But you're going to be judged on how well you know your horse, either if you're doing a simple lead change, how well your horse broke down into a trot and then picked up the right lead. Or you're going to wow. be judged if you're doing a flying lead change on if you know your horse picked up that lead change when you asked for it. So cool. it's pretty much just riding, and it's practice, practice, practice. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to pattern your horse for this pattern. It's more of like you know what you're trying to do, you know what your horse could do. Now mm -hmm. let's put it all together in a pattern and see okay. how well you perform. And you guys are doing these one at a time, or are all the horses at the same time doing these? One ones? at a time. One at a time, okay. And um, it, are they done all on the same day? It's not like one day you're working, you're showing one of these things and the next day you're doing another no it's no. it's all in one day all in one day and will it be in a program like if someone wants to make sure that they catch um the ranch horse pleasure section they would know when to go and well it's the calaveras saddle queen competition is set for the specific time the arena time on thursday for the fair and just then, on thursday just okay, on Thursday, because okay. after Thursday, they'll be crowned, and then they'll enjoy the fair as queen and oh, princesses. okay. So they'll be competing on Thursday, and the order of events will be in place, but you can't say, like, it's equitation exactly at 
three oh, o'clock. Oh, five hundred. Yeah. You know, yeah. Okay. Like, okay. That's yeah. interesting. Well, I'm glad they know what they're doing. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, and what is a flag run? It does is what I think. Where you do you have to hold oh, a flag while yeah. you're? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You okay. get to hold a flag and do a lap around the arena, which is really fun. And yeah. um, we get to go like at a fast lope if we want to, and it's really fun. Is it more? Um, for the uh, for the visual of it, or is there something difficult about that for your horse? Well, we are judged on the flag run, and it can be difficult, especially if your horse isn't used to flags, because they can be afraid of the flapping in the wind. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Is it a little flag or no? It's no, a it's big, a big flag. flag. Yeah. Ooh. I'm going to have to come just to see this, you guys. Mm -hmm. And also with yeah. the flag run, uh -huh. it's also part of the grand entry, so. Like for the queen and stuff and during the rodeo, we do a grand entry where you make a run around the arena and mm -hmm. you pretty much you're greeting all the people in the stands and stuff. So they like to see the flag as you carry it around the arena. Very cool. That is that, but it's really neat looking. And then barrel race, you guys, most of you mentioned that you have done barrel racing before. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> is that what I've seen? I've seen men do it on television, I believe, where the horse is like almost sideways, right? Going around the... At some points, yes. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Isn't that... That's not scary to you guys? It's, it's really fun, fun actually. Yeah. 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 Wow. Golly, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys grew up to be race car drivers or, <laughs> or cops or something like that. <laughs> I am so the opposite. I, I like to know what I'm doing every day, like even 10 years from now, like just calm and scheduled and not getting dirty or, <laughs> or hot or anything. <laughs> okay, and the queen lap, I guess that means whoever is crowned queen um, does this? Well, actually the queen lap is... For you. No, they're going to be competing in the event of the queen lap to see how they will do a queen lap as queen. Cause, oh. Uh, so a queen lap is a queen salute. Mm -hmm. So you would be doing this in grand entry and rodeos. Okay. And I have done this in my reign. And it's a salute to the crowd. So you take your hat or your hand to the brim of your hat and you go around the arena saluting. And it's done at a lope, an extended lope. It's generally encouraged to go as fast as you can okay and and it's the same salute that everyone gives it's not like you can add your own flair to it or well you can yeah. if you want to there's yeah, like jazz hands or something, something like that generally it's no. a salute from the burn okay. your hat and you can do a flat hand two fingers okay. three fingers Do that, does that mean anything different wave. no just whatever you prefer just what you prefer and then some girls will wave if they don't, aren't comfortable with the salute okay yeah you guys, it's like a whole different world. I didn't even know this <laughs> stuff happened. And the community service, is that part of, is that something you talk about your own past community service to the judges? And We get to yeah. write an yeah. essay this year. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And will you be reading it in front of the audience? Mm -hmm. yeah. Or do they, do they read it for you? It's submitted to the community service sponsors. Okay. And they'll judge them and pick a winner and okay that person gets a buckle and that's a separate thing from the competition oh nice i like that that's really neat. you know what else i love about this you guys is that you guys are um like i said before getting all these different experience but all of these are things that are going to help you when you're well not my age i'm <laughs> i'm gonna be 51 a lot younger but when you're starting your your professional careers this is all going to look so awesome on your um, your resumes yes. you guys have experiences that that so many girls do not have that's awesome and it tells a lot about each of you also that you're willing to put yourselves out there like that because I mean it's it's competition and not everyone is going to be the queen and and I think that's really cool that you guys are securing yourselves and and like I said that you support each other that's really neat um, so this is something that you guys would all recommend to other Younger girls, definitely. So we're yeah. thinking about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. What would you say to them if they were not quite sure if they wanted to or not? Uh, how would you encourage them to do this? This was me um, a couple years ago, last year. Um, before I submitted my application to run for Saddle Queen, I was out at the McCallum Hill Arena, and Calaver Saddle Club was the 4-H was doing a little play day out there, and. 
someone had came up to me and asked me, well, are you running for Saddle Queen this year? And I was like, well, I want to, but I don't know. I'm like, I'm showing at fair and I'm an FA officer. I don't know. It's, I, I just, I'm undecided right now. And they looked at me and they go, do you want to do it? <laughs> and I go, yes, I want to do it. And they're like, then do, do it. it. Oh. So what I would tell them is if you want to do it, go out there and do it. It's fun. Yeah. It's a competition. Mm -hmm. But the overall experience that you're having, it's so fun whether you win or not. So if you want to do it, go out there and do it. Have fun. That is so neat. If, so this is for girls 15 to 19. Is that what you guys were, was that correct? Is it 15 to 19? 14, 14, 14, 14 to 19. Yeah. 14. Okay. Can the same girl compete every year from between 14 and, and 19? No, yes. it depends on whether or not she wins. Oh, uh, so okay. So if she wins the title, she can't come back the next year and compete again. Oh, okay. I'm keeping the crown. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm defending my title. <laughs> Monarchy. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny? <laughs> Okay, so as long as she doesn't win, she can keep giving it a try. Yes. Keep giving yeah. it a try. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I did that. I did competed, you? Yeah, I competed my freshman year and lost freshman. and then okay. moved on to another competition and when that, handed down that title and then came back and competed here. Okay, what was the other one that you won? I was Miss CSHA 2014 and CSHA stands for the California State Horsemen's Association. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Wow, you guys are incredible. So um, we have like three minutes left. I'm just curious how you guys fit in your social life, your school life, your homework, <laughs> and, and all of this practice that you have to do. And um, one of the things that, that pops to mind is my daughter plays softball. She's a pitcher. So I know she, how busy she is because along with all of her, she's in college right now, along with all of her schooling, she has regular team practice and her pitching practice, but she does not have to care for an animal uh, yeah. In between time or, or in the evenings or, or any of that, what's a regular day look like for any of you guys? You like three minutes, and we have time to talk about that. Just... Well, how about somebody who hasn't had the chance to talk yet? Yeah. Well, I pretty much go to school, come uh -huh. home, and I also have a market steer this year for fair. So it's either, oh, gosh. It's either I'm trading off from the horse to the steer, uh -huh. and yeah, it's pretty busy. Pretty busy day. Golly. And you got to fit in homework and all yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. It works. I love it. <laughs> and you guys are saying this takes, it's like a three-month process from the time you agree to do this until the day of the fair. So for like three months, you guys are this busy. Yeah. That's awesome. Three months under contract. <laughs> oh, okay. It's really a life thing. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's, yeah. True. that's true. So, so honey, how about you? What time do you end up going to bed at night by the time you're done with your um, entire day? Me, I try to go to bed around 8.30. Yeah. But I end up going to bed around like 11. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can imagine that is probably totally accurate. Yeah. yeah. You guys have a lot of energy. So much. I, I love your vibe. All of you are so positive. <laughs> now, we're almost out of time, but I remembered hearing that there's something special about the fair this year. It's an anniversary. Is that correct? What, uh, what is yeah. that? It's um, Rosie the Riveter's 30th anniversary, and she jumped the farthest at 21 and 5 and 3 quarters inches. Golly. And the guy that was jumping her, his name was Lee. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do we know if he'll be there? Um, sure. I hope he is. I hope yeah. so. That would be, that'd be even, even more special. Right, that is yeah. so neat. Well, you guys, you're going to remember this the rest of your lives. I so appreciate you all coming in. Thank you for and, having and, Oh, thank, thank you guys you. for being yeah. here. I, I know it's a... It's a different kind of thing to do. Something else you can put on your resumes, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Live TV, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, thank you guys so much. And I wish all of you luck. And I don't know if there's anything I can do for any of you. Don't ask me any horse questions. <laughs> but if there's anything I can do for anybody, please let me know. I'd love to support thank you girls, you. too. Thank, thank, you. Awesome. thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. And uh, that's it. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time on Tammy's Window on Calaveras.